Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 534. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College Upset link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 534 to 536. Hey, we have a list of dates and we need to conditionally format weekends and holidays. Now we're going to use the weekday function to determine the weekends, uh, but the holidays you're, you're going to have to put the date somewhere it can either be on the same sheet or on a different sheet and then name it or even a, a, a named formula with the serial numbers. Uh, but with those two things in mind, here's some notes about the weekday. If we ask weekday to look at a particular date, it'll spit out one for Sunday to seven for Saturday. So we'll use that to our advantage here. Now, conditional formatting is based on true or false. Either apply the formatting or don't apply the formatting. Now there's two ways we could do this. We could add an extra column which might be useful. Then you have a, a true here. We could use then a short array formula. Otherwise, if we want to not have an extra column, we're going to have to do a non-array formula because conditional formatting will not allow us to have an array formula. Let's look at the non-array formula first. Hey, um, we need either true or false, but since we're going to ask a bunch of questions of a single day, we're going to have to say, is it Saturday, or is it Sunday, or is it one of these holidays? So we use the OR function. OR function allow us to put a bunch of logical tests, and if any one of them come out to be true, then OR will deliver a true, which is exactly what we need for conditional formatting. Now I'm going to build my formula here, and then we'll slap it into the conditional formatting uh, dialog box where it will be stored in memory. First thing is, we need to ask weekday. Is the weekday of this equal to 1? That will be Sunday. Or, and I can just copy this right here, or, comma, is it equal to 7? Or, is this equal to, and I'm going to copy this because I'm going to use this a couple times here, is that equal to, well I can't click on that first holiday so I'm going to click there and down arrow. You can see how I have that. Now I'm going to control V. And then is it equal? Well, I can't get to that one either, so I'm going to click here and up arrow. Uh, control V, this one. Control V, this one. Control V, this one. Now I only have, uh, s let's see, if I click right here, that's seven. That's the max in earlier versions. Uh, in this 2007 or 2010, you can have a lot more than that. Now I actually uh, forgot. These dates need to be locked because we are going to copy the formula down, so I'm going to click here and hit. Uh, F4, and then there F4, F4, F4. All right, so now I can control enter and copy it down. So now you can see that that works. Um, there's a true for Saturday, Sunday, and uh, these holidays right here, the fourth and the fifth, looks like we have uh, March 4th and the 5th, so March 4, Thursday. This is not showing up, and that's because this one's not included. Oh, because we forgot to lock that one. You always got to check your formulas. Uh, so we have to say, oh, this one right here, F4. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Actually, what we should have done is come down to the last one and hit F2. All right, and so that looks like it's uh, everything's locked in the right place. Now, we can uh, use this formula right here, copy. Sometimes it's much, actually, it's easier and quicker because you can use some of the tab keyboard shortcuts in 2007. It's quicker to create your true-false formula here. Copy, and you, that way you can copy it down and then visually check it, right? Now, we'll come over here. And I'm going to highlight the whole range, control shift down arrow, and when you do conditional formatting, the true-false formula is always built from the point of view of this cell, and in memory it's copied down just like we did it here, but it's done in memory. Now the keyboard shortcut for conditional formatting, Alt-O-D. Then I'm going to click New Rule, I'm going to click this uh, formula, and here. Now in earlier versions you have to do Alt-O-D, and then the first text box you have to point to is Formula. Now I'm going to Control-V. 
And that whole big formula right there will work, true, false. Format, I'm going to do white font and red. You can do whatever formatting you'd like. Click OK, click OK. All right, so then there you have it. You have um, all of the uh, weekends, Saturday, Sunday, and holidays. If I were to type a different holiday here, uh, Monday, March 8th, so 3 slash 8, then that one is highlighted and the Friday is no longer highlighted. Now, another way to do this, uh, much, much shorter formula than this, but it, conditional formatting wouldn't allow this, is to go equals or. And now what did we do? We did weekday twice, and then we did a bunch of uh, one, two, three, four, five true-false formulas. Well, with array, we could just say weekday of this is equal to, and then we use array syntax, curly bracket, 1 comma 7. So we say, uh, is that equal to that? And uh, then we don't have to type out two weekdays. And then we say comma. And our second logical test will just be all of these cells right here, and I'm going to have to hit the F4 key to lock it, are any of those equal to this? Close parentheses. That is a lot shorter. But this has to be entered with Control Shift Enter. If you try to enter this in conditional formatting, um, it just says it doesn't allow array syntax or array elements. Control Shift Enter, double click and send it down. Now if you wanted to do use this and have an extra column, uh, you could, let me copy this over here like this. I'm going to point to this and then hold Control and click and drag. And you can see on the sheet there's a plus. That means I'm copying. You let go of your mouse, not Control, to copy the sheet. Now I'm going to call this, uh, or let's uh, get rid of this formatting. Control Shift Down Arrow, Alt O D, Alt D for delete right there. Enter. Now I'm going to highlight. Control Shift Down are both, and now I'm going to build the formula from the point of view of this cell right here. I mean, actually, from the point of view of this, but it's going to be looking there. Is anything in the uh, B column equal to true? Alt O D, new rule, and then the formula is just uh, is this, and that needs to be locked with a column reference. Is that equal to T R U E? And then I'm going to add some formatting, say maybe like uh, that. And it will highlight the whole uh, row. All right, uh, so there's a little bit about conditional formatting for weekends and holidays. All right, we'll see you next trick.